With a lot of events taking place in Northeast Ohio this weekend, tonight's top story is the weather. We've already seen a tornado warning as a line of showers and thunderstorms rolled through our area. Here's the view from our CSU tower cam over downtown Cleveland as that storm dropped heavy rain and thunder in some areas. And this is the view along the shoreline of Lake Erie at Fairport Harbor. The day started off as a great day to get out, but it all changed this afternoon. Meteorologist Jason Michael has been tracking it this afternoon. Jason, we already had a tornado warning for part of our viewing area. Is that all we're going to see tonight? The viewers right now, Neil, are like, oh, it's this guy again. Yes, it is so northeast Ohio for us to start off with some quiet weather, a little bit of rain, a little bit of storms here, and then all of a sudden in the middle of Celebrity Golf, we get a tornado warning. So that's what's happening. As Neil was just saying at the top of the show, that is now expired. We are still sticking with a little bit of showers and thunderstorms across the area, even downtown right now. I-90 and 77 is showing a lot of wet weather on the roadways. And even I've even been seeing some ponding on the roadways as well. We're still dealing with rain, so that's likely going to carry us through, say, perhaps 10, 11 p.m. tonight. But it's hit and miss, though. We have sort of a donut hole of dry air that is over towards uh, Richland, Ashland, Wayne County, Holmes County, Summit, even Port a bit quiet right now, but it's just along 90 stretching over towards the east Ashtabula. It even down south to Tuscarawas, Carroll County, even Stark County. A little bit of an isolated thunderstorm down there for you. As we put it in motion here, we're going to look at what it looks like for the past two to three hours. That earlier sail is now over towards northwestern Pennsylvania, so out of the reach here. The atmosphere is a bit more stable as opposed to it being that way two, three hours ago, and certainly within the past hour and a half. This is what we look like at the eastern half of the country as that frontal boundary will edge closer into northeast Ohio. The I-75 uh, corridor back towards west central Ohio, it is going to bring in some drier air, and that is likely going to take us through early tomorrow morning. Honing in a little bit tighter, again, you can see where sort of the rainfall has been stacking up here the past two to three hours or so, mainly along I-90. This has sort of been the bullseye of these showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, Medina, Summit, Portage, even Geauga, and also Ashtabula County, anywhere between one and perhaps about two to three inches at the highest end. Here's your National Design Mark forecast for the rest of the evening. We rid ourselves of all that activity around the midnight hour, begin to dry things out. We still have a south performing wind, but just before sunrise tomorrow, Peyton Dobchie is going to be talking about this drier air moving back in. But there's also one other thing that we have to talk about that just dropped from National Weather Service, Neil, and I'll add that to my weather forecast in just a few minutes. All right, we'll have to stay up to date. It looks so far at 730 in the morning. Very nice. Not that bad. We're going to hold our breath. All right, Jason, we'll see you in just a bit. Mm -hmm.